Hi everyone, today we're going to create mini rainbows using signs in our kitchen. First we will use chromatography, the science of separating the different parts of a mixture, such as ink. This technique will reveal what colours are hiding within a black texture. And we will use what we've learned to make beautiful rainbows. First of all, we're going to find out what the colour black is really made of. You'll need some absorbent paper, such as a coffee filter or piece of paper towel, a black texture or whiteboard marker, but not a permanent marker, scissors, water, a tall glass or container, and a clip or peg. Start by cutting a strip of your paper or water filter around two centimeters by 15 centimeters. Take your texture and draw a thick line about three or four centimeters from the bottom of the paper. Put a small amount of water into your glass then place just the very bottom of the paper into it, making sure you don't put your texture line under the water. Fold the top of the paper over the top of your glass and secure it with your peg or clip. Watch the water slowly creeping up the paper and notice what happens as the black ink starts to move up the paper. Wait until the ink has made its way to the top of the paper strip. How many colors can you see now? Did any colors travel further than the others? We just used a process called capillary action to draw the water up the paper and bring the ink with it. Water molecules like to stick together. This means that as water travels up our paper, it drags other water molecules with it, even against gravity. The ink of our texture has water in it, so the color gets pulled up the paper as well. Capillary action is actually how plants pull water up from the ground. The color black is actually made up of a combination of other colors. Those colors have different properties. Some are heavier than others and different sizes. This means they travel up the paper at different rates, allowing us to see all the colors that make up the black of your texture. Now we can use capillary action to create a rainbow. This time round, you'll need to cut your absorbent paper into the curved shape of a rainbow. Mark out the paper with all the colors of the rainbow and have two glasses of water side by side. What other artworks can you create? 